water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, well like 15 years, Nickelodeon gave us an amazing show. It was called Avatar The Last Airbender. And now with the rise of collectible toys, Diamond Select brings us the Avatar The Last Airbender action figure set. These highly detailed, fully posable figures may be hard to find, but I believe they can save the day. Okay, so I know the intro said save the world, but let's face it, as cool as these action figures are, they're not going to save the world. But they can save your day when you find one in the store <clears throat> or when you find one that's in stock online. So today I have a bonus. You only have to put up with me one time for this viewing. And I'm going to show you two figures because they came together. So I got Azula and <clears throat> I'm assuming this is going to be the standard Aang. And as opposed to the Walgreens one that I posted already. So if you've seen that, um, here's the next one. If you haven't, check it out. This one is blowing my mind. So I only have one complaint. It's so petty and picky. I, <clears throat> I hate even saying it, but the box changed. They've got three different box types for these. It's just it's blowing my OCD out. So, you know... Sorry, but moving on. That's all I need to say. So look at what you got this time around. This is just absolutely phenomenal. You've got four sets of extra hands for Aang. He comes with the glider in both forms, both closed and open, and Momo. With Azula, eh, not so much. Still great amount of accessories. Unbelievable. You've got the blue flame bending that she does with her hand there with the uh, also three extra sets of hands they cheaped out a little bit because they reused that uh, uh, effect for the for the uh, azula's blue flame all right let's get these guys open all right i got ang chilling back there i'm gonna wait on him do him second since i've already done four other angs so i'm gonna start with azula all right so check out the detail great face sculpt great angry azula very very spot on I have one negative. I do love the gold, um, the gold trim. They did a really good job on the paint there, uh, in my opinion. So, um, posability. I'm going to show you the negative here in a second. She's pretty decent. She's got the uh, the chest joint. Um, it looks like a waist, but it looks like she's going to break if I twist it. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, arms are okay. Elbows are not. That's my one call out for negative. So very, very limited elbows. You can't hardly do anything. Now, they might have done that because of this big uh, effect. Maybe they were trying to keep it so that the elbow wouldn't lose um, stability, which is very possible. Um, so if that's the case, you know, then, then I, I kind of understand maybe it's a trade-off. Uh, legs, however, uh, this is uh, soft. She's got the posability in the legs there, so she can fire bend all day and do those kicks. Um, she's got the thigh cut, and, and this goes all the way around, double knee. So, like I said, the posability for the feet and the legs is definitely there. She, like I said, the big win here is just this cool little accents in the outfit. They, they nailed the colors on those, I think. Um, maybe a little off from the Fire Nation, but got her ponytail there. So, pretty cool. Let's take a look at the extra hands. So you got, I already showed you this one, but I'll show you again. You got this, and I will pop it on real quick so that you can see that it's doing it. She's even got the, the finger pose, just like in the show. That's pretty awesome. <clears throat> Two grip hands. Um, she doesn't really have anything to grip, but there they are. You got some uh, potential for maybe some of the other accessories, or if you want to have her holding an M16 or something like that, I'm, I'm sure if she had one, she'd use it. And then uh, bending hands. So I would assume that's kind of a bending hand. Or you can ever do the uh, the princess wave. You know, whichever. So those are pretty cool. Uh, let's get that on real quick and see if I can show you how easy or not easy that is going to be to pop on or off. And most importantly, how well she's going to stay. So wicked cool effect. Very cool. Let's get Aang out here. First of all, brand new Momo sculpt. How cool is that? And his head moves. So a little posability there with Momo. You've got all these hand variations. I'm not going to take them all out and show you because I'm kind of running a little bit over here. But um, you've got bending, you've got grip, you've got kind of a, a dramatic grasp. 
<laughs> All right, let's move on to the figure. There he is, Aang, with his happy, excited face. I noticed they got the ripples on the top of his coat here. It looks like that's probably for the flying, you know, the flying effect. Uh, definitely different than the other ones, but I do like that little detail. Um, I'm a fan of details. So, posability, as far as that goes, it is the exact same body sculpt as that Wave 2 Series 1 figure. So, the difference here is going to be the face, which is just... <laughs> it is so awesome. Uh, the the happy happy ang face all right so like i said i'm not gonna if you if you haven't seen the other video take make sure you check that one out you can see all the details on the um the body sculpt i'm not gonna spend too much time on that like i said because i've already done that one so there's a collapsed and like i said i'm pretty sure that one hand variation is going to be the one that's one that that goes to so you've got the two posts there two bolts horse is expanded here is the purpose of those two holes in case you wondered all right so you've got the post that they come with of course that was, is going to go on the base just like the one for azula and then these two pegs would go through here so from there you can have ang hanging however you want um, that's going to make for some great great posing some great displays for your figure uh, I would I would say you almost have to have them both just for those two head sculpts, but I'm definitely glad that I got them the addition to the collection here. Got Azula looks fantastic over there next to uh, Zuko, um, battling it out in their Agni Kai. If you haven't checked it out yet, if you want to see more pictures of Aang and Katara and uh, Zuko, uh, make sure you click on my Instagram. It's on the pro profile page here on YouTube. You can check that out. Check out some of my photos. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.